Hello, everybody. Thank you for having me here. Super nice being in Athens after two years of pandemic. So, let's wait for the slides. Nice. Okay, my name is Irene Rossetto, and I'm country uh, lead Southern Europe for e commerce. Uh, for someone that maybe doesn't know e-commerce, uh, e-commerce is uh, uh, the e-commerce platform for all stages of business growth, uh, uniquely positioned as an open SaaS B2C and B2B e-commerce leader. Uh, it has been founded in 2009 and it is currently working with more than 60,000 enterprises and serving more than 150 countries. Uh, some recent events, so uh, we have been named a Strong Performer 2022 in both the Forrester Wave uh, B2C and B2B, uh, one of uh, UK's uh, best workplaces 2022 for, uh, by Great Place to Work, and the uh, best enterprise platform in Europe 2022 according to Emers 100. So today we are going to speak a little bit about um, global growth in 2022 and what do merchants need to be thinking about. Um, we will see what does it mean uh, to localize a business. Um, Omnichannel, so where is your audience and probably it's worth it to be there. Uh, technology, of course, so why uh, your tech stack is key to scaling faster and multi-store front, and this is how big commerce can help in this process. So, um, turbocharged by the global pandemic, e-commerce has very quickly leapt to the forefront of many businesses, sales and marketing strategies. And it's easy to see why, uh, with an estimated B2C value of $5 trillion and B2B value now approaching $10 trillion. So, which are the benefits of selling online and uh, selling cross-border? Cross-border e-commerce will witness an average annual growth rate of 14% over the next five years, uh, compared to 9% accounted for by domestic e-commerce spend, uh, which means new sales opportunity for businesses, uh, planning and risk mitigation, uh, building an international reputation for brands and an innovative and creative new challenge. Um, and this is why we are going to talk about localization. So localization is about providing uh, your international customers with a shopping experience that feels local. Um, and this allows you to reach more customers by creating tailored experiences. Meaning um, that you should maybe take care and uh, uh, pay particular attention when it comes to item description, uh, local sizing and units of measurements, uh, pricing currency and payment methods, shipping options and costs, uh, product search keywords, cultural trends and differences, and SEO on key pages, of course. So. Omnichannel, um, let's say an omnichannel strategy creates new customer touch points while diversifying your revenue streams. And this allows you to reach more customers by meeting them where they shop. And it's critical for executing a holistic brand experience across all channels, uh, from discovery to purchase to fulfillment. Uh, for inspiring customers to make repeat purchases quicker and increasing customer loyalty and lifting customer lifetime, lifetime value. Sorry. <laughs> so why is uh, having an omnichannel uh, strategy important for global growth? So different countries shop in different ways. Your audience could be shopping on marketplaces in one country and on social media in other, for example. Uh, marketplaces are an easy way to enter a new country. If you want to test a product in a country, uh, using local marketplaces or uh, social targeting is a quick way to get started, for sure. And here is where it's important to speak about technology. So, Having the right technology in place enables you to scale efficiently. 
and working with the right technology also ensures you are delivering the experience your customers expect. So where to focus if you are a business that wants to sell abroad and you are browsing for technologies? So product information is definitely important. The PIM system allows you to efficiently localize product data for international markets, taxes and duties, of course. So automation can save money and avoid delivery delays. Payment methods and currencies, global payment methods are a key conversion factor. Uh, product discovery and uh, SEO, so international SEO optimization needs regional knowledge to be successful. Um, in big commerce, you can create multiple storefronts within a single system, which allows you to scale smarter by creating tailored experiences for your buyers while simplifying management. What does this mean? So basically, with multi storefronts, what you can do is effortlessly grow into new markets by creating custom storefront experiences for your various buyers without additional work, reduce costs by streamlining your e-commerce operation, by trimming down the number of systems and integration your business relies on, um, you decrease ongoing maintenance costs, meaning higher revenue uh, with less headaches. And uh, empower efficiency, of course, and ditch duplication of efforts with a centralized system to man manage all of your storefronts. Uh, whether it's adding a new product or updating pricing, do it one time in one place. And make better decisions, of course, for your business with a unified data source and, and powerful insights to grow. So um, manage multiple uh, storefronts in one place. You can get the best out of multi storefronts if you are a merchant that uh, manage multiple brands, for example, fashion brands with multiple diffusion lines, uh, merchants that sell to multiple segments. So if you are a company uh, that sell to um, B2B or a B2B hybrid brands selling business and direct to consumer, and to, for a merchant that sell to multiple countries. What are the benefits of using a multi storefront in big commerce? So gain peace of mind, basically, uh, knowing that as you grow and a new brands or countries, you have a repeatable process to bring them into the fold. Uh, enable efficient, uh, efficient teams by giving them a centralized system um, to manage all of your brands based on the needs of the business. Uh, reduce costs by streamlining your e-commerce operations because less systems means lower maintenance costs and uh, resulting in uh, a higher profit margin. And protect the brand authenticity across your portfolio by creating tailored experiences for each brand. Of course, uh, last but not least, of course, uh, connect with your customers wherever they are by creating tailored experiences for each local. Some key capabilities uh, of uh, multi, uh, multi storefronts with big commerce. So let's say you are a business that wants to sell in different countries. You are based in Greece but wants to sell for example, to, to Nordics, to Italy, you want to sell in Spain, in the Dach market, you want to sell in the Netherlands. So it's very important to be able to customize product filtering options and apply custom templates per storefront. Mm, configure different storefront setting per storefront. Set and manage default currency. Manage catalogs, so products, categories, settings, pricing individually, person front, but always managing just one system, just one backend. Um, create and manage unique category tree with categories uh, per headless storefront. We are a native headless technology. Uh, set unique prices and or customer group using price lists per headless storefront. Um, set category level discounts per customer group or in storefronts and enable or disable purchasing per storefront. 
So create and manage customers' login access per storefront. So just to summarize uh, and, and conclude my, my speech, how does multi-storefront support global, global growth? And so how e-commerce can help businesses to support global growth? Um, so first of all, it enables your e-commerce to have localized content. Uh, and we know that 76% of online shoppers are more likely to buy a product with information in their own language. Uh, localized price lists, 40% of uh, surveyed online shoppers will not buy from websites in other currencies. And everything in one dashboard so your team can continue to operate globally, locally, sorry, with one global view. Thank you very much.